You're listening to Done, the weekly podcast about how to simplify work by means of... With me, David Schönholm. After a week-long Easter break, I'm back with a new episode about how to properly use our to-do list. When do you write things on your to-do list? This is a question I get once in a while. For the people who are used to making lists for things to do in the week to come and daily to do, list is a dynamic tool to which we continuously add items. Some people are more used to making lists in the purpose of making long-term plans, plans that undoubtedly fail or have to be rescheduled since things show up all the time, things like unpredicted phone calls, rescheduling of events and so on. My answer is therefore any time or all the time. Whenever I come to think of something or receive a new to-do task from someone else that I will not do, I write it on my list, regardless of where I am or what time it is. I keep adding to the list throughout the day as I think of or receive things to do, rather than sit down with it at one point during the day. Some tasks, others don't. Their scheduling of tasks to do occurs automatically, since the list shows me what I have to do listed by due date when I wanted to. Rather than plan what I will do during the day ahead, I frequently change direction. So up that I need to take into consideration. Once a week, I look both back and forward in the calendar, as well as consult the to-do list, in order to remind myself of any tasks that might have fallen behind from the days that passed, and to prepare to come in the next few weeks ahead. This way I give myself a better perspective on my current situation and make sure I do not miss anything, as well as get good foresight on what is to come. The point of working in this way is that we do not have to spend unnecessary plans that doubtlessly have to be remade anyway. We do not have to rewrite the tasks several times, but can just reshuffle the order of the tasks we will do when something unforeseen happens that we need to attend to first. If we were to make additions to the list only one, we would actually have two parallel lists, one actual list and one consisting of all the things we will soon add to the actual to-do list. Do this. If you are used to doing things differently, but are open to trying something new, this method relies on one single thing. You need to keep your to-do list readily available as much as possible. So where do you keep your to-do list now and when you are working? Is it close enough so that you can just add a task to it the minute you come to think you are in the middle of something else? Perhaps you need to think of a way to bring the list a little closer to you, so that it becomes as easy as possible to make notes the instant you think of something you need to do, which you will not do immediately. If you cannot bring it, could you think of a way to write things you come to think of down for now, so that you do not forget the task again? Can you do so by emailing yourself or having a designated place where you put the just for now notes that you go through every task it holds to your to-do list? If you write down your to-do tasks as soon as they occur to you, rather than writing lists for tomorrow or next week, you will have more time for actually completing the tasks, since you do not have to spend time on making plans. Since you make note of things you want to do, the risk of forgetting important things you, for instance, promised others decreases, compared to if you, at frequent intervals, have to recall what you said to people you met throughout the day you would do for them. Or add to your to-do list. If you feel like sharing, send me an email to david at stjernholm.com and tell me. I'm always curious to hear from listeners of what their habits, methods and days are like, so I'm looking forward to your email. And welcome back for next week's edition of Downbound.